Hi there. Good evening. Uh, yes, it's 734. Yeah, it is evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm just uh, tuning in and trying to say happy Monday to everyone. Actually, I've got some people specifically I want to sh give a shout out to. Um, my cousin Roddy, Roderick Teamer. congratulations, my man for being picked for the uh, signing with the LA Chargers. That's right, we've got an NFL player in our family. And uh, of course he is the product of, uh, of a good family, our family, <laughs> and, of, and especially good parenting uh, from Roddy Sr. and my cousin Toya, his mother. Um, I'm so happy, I'm so overjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be taking my son to all of Roddy's uh, home games, or at least as many as I can afford here in L.A. And uh, I just want to give a, a beautiful big kiss mwah, to my Barnes family and uh, everyone. Hey, Toshika, how you doing? You know I had to give a shout out to, to Roddy. I'm so proud. I'm already bragging about him at the gym. I'm already starting his L.A. Uh, fan club. Oh, hi, princess. What is that? Well, I'm talking about my cousin Roddy, Roddy Teamer, who is now an NFL player um, for the LA Chargers. So proud of my man. And hopefully he'll let me give him some peak performance training here at the Biometrics Health Center when he comes here to LA. I'm just so, I'm overjoyed. My heart is jumping out. I'm overjoyed with pride. Um, and I'm feeling really good. I had uh, clients come in today. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I, I do this because I want to help people. Helping people is much more fulfilling to me than money. And um, when I see people who come to me in despair and they're come, they come to me when they're suffering, I'm able to, and I'm able to give them hope. I'm able to let them understand that, you know, they don't have to continue suffering in silence, that I hear it, I hear them, and uh, I have the means and the methods to help them, and I'm bold enough to use it, I'm bold enough to talk about it, I'm bold enough to talk about uh, chlorine dioxide. This is for you, Kerry Rivera. Uh, my friend Kerry Rivera has cured over 400 children of autism using chlorine dioxide. And, and even though the uh, big pharmaceutical companies are fighting us and the government is fighting us and YouTube has taken down almost all of the MMS testimonial videos. Hey, Toshika. Uh, they've taken down almost all of the MMS videos. Uh, I'm still going to be talking about it and I'm still going to be putting it up. And uh, I got to get back on my cousin Roddy. I'm just so proud of him. I can't wait to find out what position he's going to play and what his jersey number is going to be. My son and I are going to get matching jerseys, Charger jerseys with his number on it. And uh, I'm just waiting for people to ask me so I could tell them. I got a cousin in the NFL, a first cousin once removed, but a first cousin nevertheless in the NFL. This is This is like... Hey, you know what I mean? And it's good because my son is 12. So this is great because I'm starting to throw the rock to him now. He's almost as tall as I am. He's already taller than his mother at 12 years old. Oh, definitely, definitely. And, uh, and, and thank you, Toshika. And, um, you know, so now I, I, you know, I took him to the NFL uh, party Thursday night on Santa Monica Pier and I had no idea that that Roddy was even going to be in the NFL, let alone the Chargers. We just happened to – I had a guy from the Chargers come and try to sell me a box, um, you know, at $150,000 a year in the stadium. Uh, and although I would, I would love to, to, you know, to, to be able to rent a box at Chargers Stadium for $150,000 a year – um, I, I gotta, I gotta get my Lamborghini first <laughs> before I can afford that. So he gave me the tickets to come to the, to the draft party. 
And uh, so we were there. I just wanted my son to see how families feel when they find out that their kid is going to be a millionaire and is going to be an NFL player. And, and, and it strikes like lightning. <laughs> God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And God is good to my family all the time. And that's what's really beautiful about it. But yes, I had a chance to speak with uh, some new clients today. And we talked about uh, CES therapy, cranial electrotherapy stimulation. As a matter of fact, I feel like stimulating myself right now with my ear clips here. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and neurofeedback, neurofeedback, which uh, trains the brain for peak performance. I already trained a couple of athletes. One guy, um, uh, Rico, a good friend of mine, he's a former um, I'm, I don't know if he was a Ram. I don't know what team he played for, but he's a former NFL player, and he swears by the peak performance training. And um, so it just feels good. You know, you don't have to be sick to feel better, and, and you don't have to do anything to count your blessings and, and to feel really good about life. And that's kind of the high that I'm on right now. It just feels really good. Um, on another note, I'm also taking a chance, you know, taking a look at my own health, right? Uh, I've just finished drinking some bentonite clay. Um, if you get a chance to buy some good mama's cleansing clay, I'm going to do a plug for my good friends, okay? Good mama's cleansing clay. This is good stuff, okay? Bentonite clay, it will magnetically draw out all of the heavy metal toxins in your body, and uh, it, it'll clean you from the inside. And you can also put it in the bath and soak in it, which is what I'm about to do now. I just poured myself a bath of bentonite clay. So I got to go stir it up again and lay down in the tub uh, when I get home. And after soaking in bentonite clay, you'll see that it pulls it all out of your body, all of the heavy metals out of your body. You can look down in the bathtub and um, the clay is clay. So it's only going to be a certain color. Right, it is the color of the clay, and it has a particular uh, uh, molecular structure. So it's not going to bind with dirt. Everything else that you see in the bathtub with that clay is heavy metal toxins that were drawn out of your body. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, I highly recommend you take a bentonite clay bath or a bentonite clay foot bath, and continue to do that over and over again. When you take the heavy metals out of your body, you're starving cancer cells and um, you, you make yourself just feel happy, feel good. You feel joyful like when you were a little kid, right? It's that kind of feeling. And uh, hey, Ferdinand, how are you guys doing? Harlan, Min Kim, Britt, Robert, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, and bentonite clay, man, bentonite clay does the trick. And, you know, I find myself acting like a child again after soaking in bentonite clay. When you take those heavy metals out of your body, um, you know, I, I do things like when you park the car, if there's a good song on the radio and you don't want to stop listening to the song and you, 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 you know, leave the car running and you sing the rest of the song until the song is over. That kind of childish, joyful energy, you know, that's what comes back to you when you're soaking in bentonite clay and, and, and taking those toxins out of your body. Haritaki, okay? I always have to talk about haritaki, H-A-R-I-T-A-K-I. -I. Please get you some haritaki, okay? It is the mother of all herbs. It is and it is the active ingredient, the main ingredient, and in over 60% of the Ayurvedic medications coming from India, and probably 80% or more of those coming from Nepal and Sri Lanka. And uh, this is very, very, very good stuff, okay? It increases the blood flow, the oxygen. It increases the oxygen in the blood to the brain by 400%, okay? So it's very bitter. It's a powder. It's very cheap. You can buy it at, uh, online at eBay, 
right? For a kilo of it for like 10, 15 bucks. It's really cheap, right? And it tastes nasty. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't lie. It tastes nasty. So what you do is you take and put, like, fill your mouth halfway with the water. Hold your head up. Take a spoon of haritake. Drop it in there. Gulp it down without tasting it. And it'll churn its way through your body. It'll churn its way through. It has its own rhythm. It'll churn its way through your entire digestive tract. It'll cleanse the pancreas. It'll cleanse the liver. It'll cleanse your intestines. It'll cleanse your kidneys. It'll cleanse all of your internal organs. And it'll send you to the bathroom about two, maybe three hours later. And it'll cleanse you all the way out, so to say. And um, it also increases the oxygen in your blood and the oxygen going to your brain. Okay? So I highly recommend getting some harataki. And the gurus say that if you take harataki and pinch it between your fingers and rub it onto your gums, that you can manifest wealth into your life. And I'm, I'm still kind of waiting for that to happen. But it's, I guess, uh, you know, you have to also work your ass off to, to, uh, to manifest wealth too. Um, but, pardon my French, but uh, I highly recommend getting some haritake. And I highly, highly recommend uh, getting some monoatomic gold. This is gold, okay? Ormus, O-R-M-U-S. I think it's organically reorganized molecules of something, whatever. And uh, this is literally gold. So I mean, it's not cheap, okay? It's not cheap at all. But this powder, let me get a little something that I can put it here for you. Ah. This powder is actually gold. It's uh, monoatomic gold. And uh, yes, sir. And here's how it looks. See that? That little powder, right? And how do you take it? You do it like this. Put very little right under your tongue, okay? What Ormus does, monoatomic gold, it, mm, it makes the two halves of your brain work more in sync with each other. It gives you a very focused mind, and uh, it makes you very, very sharp. Some people say that it increases intuition. So, you know, kind of, you will find yourself, you know, mysteriously predicting things that you would normally have been surprised by when you take Ormus. But um, organically, well, let's call it Ormus or monoatomic gold, okay? Um, monoatomic gold is what was uh, supposedly put into the Ark of the Covenant. It is written about in Egyptian hieroglyphs as being the food of the gods, uh, shaman, and priests um, would uh, use it in order to communicate with the gods, uh, the energies that be. But I highly recommend getting yourself some monotomic gold, just like Haritake. And also get yourself a piece of Moldavite. I can't find my Moldavite right now. And, you know, sometimes they say that you know, when your, your, a piece of Moldavite has run its course in your life, that it gets lost. In other words, it finds its way out of your life and uh, it, it goes on. Someone else will find it and pick it up and it goes on to benefit other people. And that may have happened. I don't really know. But I will get another piece of Moldavite at some point in the future. Uh, Moldavite is a tectite. It's a glass natural glass that was produced when a, a meteorite slammed into Germany 15 million years ago. And it scattered these pieces of molten glass um, made of itself, the meteorite, wherever it came from, and the earth, all across uh, Europe, but mostly near the Moldan River in Czechoslovakia. 
So you can still go to Czechoslovakia and find pieces of Moldavite on the ground. I do intend to hopefully uh, go and meet my good friend, Marco Gonzalez. What's up, Marco? Out in Switzerland, and we can go hunting for some Moldavite and uh, come back here to the States with it. But uh, it is a life-changing stone. It's not a stone, but a life-changing tektite, and it will uh, help produce some profound changes in your life. It spins your top three chakras, your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, and your heart chakra. So depending on where you have it and where you're using it, um, it's going to have a pretty profound effect on your life. And, um, you know, these are just one of the things that God has blessed us with that, you know, unless you know about it, you won't, uh, you won't, uh, you know, you won't, you won't benefit from it. But a little piece of Moldavite can be pretty expensive. Um, so you have to know what you're looking for. You have to know, you have to go to a reputable Moldavite dealer and, uh, and you got to find a nice good chunk. Might be a good idea to wear it on a pendant or, or, or anything. And that's about it. Um, that's all I'm going to talk about. I just wanted you guys to uh, know that I'm very uh, proud of my cousin Roddy and uh, I and the whole family. We're very excited. Uh, we have an NFL player in the family. This is beautiful. Um, I'm already a Chargers fan and a and a Rams fan, but now I'm more of a Chargers fan. And uh, like I said, my son is 12, so this is the perfect time. I'm introducing him to the sport, and uh, I'm going to try to follow in, in your footsteps, uh, Roddy. Roderick Sr., and uh, see if I can, you know, my son's 12, man, and he's already like five foot five or five six, something like that. And, you know, hey, football, <laughs> football, or some sport, or whatever he wants to do, right? You know, if, if, if he's into sports, I want to be the encouraging uh, parent. I don't want to push him towards something that he doesn't naturally want to do, but he does seem to have an affinity for it. And, a boxing gym just opened up two doors down from the, uh, uh, thank you. Have a wonderful night too, Toshika. Mm. And a boxing gym just opened two doors down from my clinic. So my man is interested in learning how to throw those things. So I'm kind of excited about that too. Parenting is wonderful. Parenting is the best experience in life. Uh, children are everything. And, um, so that's all I want to say. I want you guys to be ha happy and to be healthy and take care of yourselves. I'm going to be making more YouTube videos. So please uh, subscribe to my YouTube page, uh, Devin Lockett. Okay. And uh, I also have another YouTube page for Biomed RX TV. Uh, actually, Biometrics has several YouTube pages. And, and I hope you can subscribe to all of them. Comment like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell so that you can get notifications of future videos. And now people are looking and pointing from outside the office. Yes, yes, I'm making a video. And uh, I just wanted to say I love you guys. That's right. My Uncle Manny was a boxer, and he was a handsome fella, and he kept his body nice and tight. And uh, that's right. That's right. And so we're not really, we're not, we're not the kind of people to stand down in our family. So I think, you know, I think, I think those skills are really good. Those skills are good to have. And like I said, my heart is jumping out of my chest with pride. So thank you. And thank you, Roddy. Congratulations, little cuz. I'm going to be looking for you, man. Take care. <laughs> this is great. Good night, everybody.